We discussed about the baboon's history, their types, their weight and height, where they are living and their behavior, their way of communication. Hello, and welcome back to our journey of discovery. Today, we're delving into the captivating yet mysterious world of baboons. These seemingly gentle creatures have a hidden side that will astonish you. Get ready to unveil the intriguing complexities of their social dynamics and their remarkable adaptability. So, without further ado, let's jump right into this engrossing exploration of the darker aspects of baboon behavior. A peek into the past. Let's start with a bit of history. Baboons belong to a group called Papio, a unique type of primate among the Old World monkeys. There are six different flavors of baboons, each with its own place to call home in Africa. And guess what? Some of them even hang out in parts of the Arabian Peninsula. Now, imagine meeting a kinder baboon, the smallest of the gang, measuring just about 20 inches and weighing 31 pounds. But on the other side of the scale, the Chakma baboon is a heavyweight, stretching up to 47 inches and packing 88 pounds. So, what's the scoop? Why is all of this important? Well, it's time to spill the beans on the dark side of baboons, which aren't as well known as their cute appearances. Get ready to be surprised. Exploring baboon behavior. Did you know that baboons, those furry creatures, all have some things in common? They've got long noses that look like a dog's, strong jaws with sharp teeth, close-set eyes, thick fur, short tails, and a special cushion on their bottoms for comfy sitting. Were baboons live and what they do? These animals like to be active during the day and sleep in trees, on high cliffs, or rocks at night to stay safe from bigger animals that might want to eat them. You can find baboons wandering around in open fields and forests in Africa. They eat lots of different things, like plants and animals, but they also have some scary enemies, including Nile crocodiles, leopards, lions, and hyenas. Are you enjoying this video? If so, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Who's in charge and how they talk? Baboons usually live in groups where some are more important than others. They talk to each other with sounds and figure out who's the boss. Now let's get to the interesting part. In the world of baboons, it's not just about hanging out in groups, there's a pecking order. They've got their own way of talking, using different sounds to communicate. It's like their secret language, and what's fascinating is that through these sounds, they sort out who's the big shot, the boss baboon. So when it comes to their social life, baboons have a whole lot going on. Baboons typically live in hierarchical troops consisting of harems. Through vocal exchanges, they discern the dominant relationships between individuals within the group. With these formalities out of the way, let's delve into the real meat of the subject. 1. Raiding human settlements, a dark side. When animals and humans share the same space, there's bound to be some conflict now and then. But what's strange about baboons is that when they raid human settlements, it's not just about getting food or shelter. It's like they're driven by anger and hatred. Baboons, believe it or not, have deep emotions, and their attacks on humans can be fierce. Take, for instance, the case of Fred in Cape Town, South Africa, who attacked and injured a child. 2. The Baboon Health Connection For years, scientists have known that wild baboons carry something called Treponema pallidum, the bacterium responsible for causing syphilis in humans. Recently, they discovered a new version of this bacterium in baboons in Tanzania, now, here's where it gets even more surprising. Some people who work closely with or handle wild baboons have actually caught syphilis from them. And it doesn't stop there. Baboons can also pass on tuberculosis to humans. This has affected communities in South Africa. It's like a health connection between baboons and us that we never expected. 3. Infanticide Infanticide in baboons is a behavior observed in several species, usually carried out by adult males particularly new alpha males. They kill infants to accelerate the return of females to a state of sexual receptivity, increasing their chances of mating and siring their own offspring. This dark behavior is often brutal, involving biting, shaking, and even targeting pregnant females to cause miscarriages. Baboons, beneath their benign looks, reveal intricate social dynamics and remarkable adaptability. Their dark behaviors challenge our perception of these primates. Stay curious, keep exploring for more captivating insights, subscribe and engage with us in the comments. Until next time, let curiosity guide your journey through the natural world.